Don McRae, we're here at Wyoming, a thousand hectare property, 25 kilometres from North Star in northern New South Wales. I'm the operations manager for Pega Australia. It's a company which uh, is, is owned by a German family who have farming interests in Australia and Germany. Currently at Wyoming we, we have approximately one third cropping and two thirds grazing. Uh, we're hoping with the, the plans we have the local land services at the moment that, that we have a property of 50% cropping and 50% grazing. With change in farming practices and uh, larger, wider machinery, uh, we were aware that there were areas that could have been cropped that, that weren't being cropped and areas that were, were uh, cropped that probably should have been grazed, they were rocky. So, so we were looking at reorganising the property to, to allow uh, you know, the best output from the property. Uh, also, we had concerns about the environment. It's a, it's a sensitive environment area. Wyoming is very special. It's a, it's a unique property in a lot of ways. It has um, a very productive soils, and as well as that, there's a very prominent ridge, which is significant in terms of its visibility, but also it has remnant dry rainforest, which is an endangered ecological community. What we're looking at is, is taking areas out of production that were being cropped and shouldn't have been cropped. They're too stony, too steep. Other areas were sandy soil and erodible and very unsuitable. And so what we're trying to do is make um, linkages through the landscape for landscape for wildlife corridors, but also link the grazing areas together and the cropping areas and making a better use of the property, more sensible use of the property and an easier use of the property and more sustainable, which is something that the owners were quite keen for us to look at as well. Working with our environmental officer, Simon Smith, uh, we approached uh, local land services uh, who, who gave us the direction as, as to what we could do with the property or the property's potentials. The solution we came up with here at Wyoming uh, was a certificate under the Land Management Code. Um, it was under what's called the Farm Plan Code. Um, so the Farm Plan Code allows a landholder to redistribute the native vegetation and cultivation on their property. Um, so they're able to move uh, cultivation in areas that might have become unproductive over the years, whether the land was too steep or too rocky, or they wanted to move their cultivation uh, away from waterways. They're able to revegetate that um, in exchange for removing native vegetation from a more productive parcel of the land. We think that we'd be able to maximise all three objectives for Wyoming. Uh, the environmental objective, the cropping uh, areas and the, the grazing. We, we think we're going to be able to increase our cropping output and retain our cattle numbers. We wouldn't have been able to achieve uh, what we set out to do under the previous laws and interestingly we had a change of legislation as we went through the process. The new process has worked very well for us. As part of the, um, the set aside areas we've got um, about 50 hectares of replanting we're doing. That's, that's on the area we've taken out of production. Now in that replanting we're looking at um, planting over 8,000 seedlings and that's going to create a link with existing vegetation, replanting um, consistent vegetation and making those um, work across that landscape. We're very committed to using best practice, first thing. Um, to do that we're bringing in the Soil Conservation Service and rely on their expertise to do soil conservation works before we do any clearing. And any of the vegetation that is removed we'll be using that as part of our rehabilitation efforts. In addition to the work we're doing under the farm plan, we've also signed an agreement with Northwest Local Land Services to protect some sensitive vegetation in the area. We've been working with the owners at Wyoming so that they can implement some fencing around the significant site so they can manage grazing effectively in the area. They're also undertaking a flora and fauna survey. The flora and fauna survey will also help them decide what are the best species to plant under the farm plan code. We've worked with two parts of local land services on Wyoming uh, and that's been very, very positive and I think uh, um, our experience has been very encouraging. 
Um, it's full communication and full cooperation. I think that showed in the final outcome of the plan. It's, it's meant that we've had to work through things, solve issues, um, discuss issues and try and come up with sensible solutions. Local land services have been a delight to work with. Um, they can't answer every problem immediately, uh, but they, they really are looking at the commercial side of things as well as the environmental side of things. Uh, I think Wyoming is a good example about uh, how environmental stewardship um, and increasing your agricultural production uh, can go hand in hand. Uh, we've seen that work here on the ground and I would encourage other landholders to come to us um, and see what outcomes we can get for you.